I'm going to change this SRS valve. I just did another video on the TRS, not valve, but sensor, uh, down here under underneath the air compressor. It's real easy to get to laying on, on my back underneath there. I just reach right up and it's right there. Um, I had to pressure wash the motor, clean it off. There's still a little bit of oil in a couple of spots. But this is the one I'm going to change next. And it is... I'll turn this light on. It's on this Detroit. It's it's uh, mounted in the gear case, facing the front of the motor, and it's behind the comp air compressor. And I'm going to zoom in on it, and that's it, right there. And there's the wire that plugs into the top of it. And it's going to be tricky doing a video on it because there's no way I can hold a camera and a flashlight and tools and get in that small space behind the compressor. But the bolt holds it on is right there. It's a 13 millimeter. And I might be able to get a, uh, a, a ratchet wrench on that from outside here and, uh, and break that loose. And then I can uh, try to get put an extension on that socket and reach behind the compressor and get it from there. Let me try that and see what happens. I was able to do that. It was tricky with this long extended handle 3 8 drive ratchet. I did get in there and I did crack it loose. So now I'm going to reach around the back with an extension and try to see if I can get on that straight onto it. I am back there. This extension is barely long enough. I might have to put another one on it or find a longer one. And I am, I am back there. As you can see, I'm turning the nut. I mean the bolt. So, but before I do that, I'm going to go get a magnet and uh, put the camera down. I'm going to put a magnet, a long telescopic magnet, one of them little ones, and put that on there so I don't drop the bolt when I pull that out of there. Got that out of there with my magnet and the uh, and the socket and the extension just in my hand in my right hand back behind the compressor and in my left hand I had this magnet and got that bolt. Now I'm going to reach in there with something and see if I can work that thing loose and get it out of there uh, without breaking it. I got a hold of that with a pair of hose pliers and I'm working it. I'm going to take them back out and show you what these are. I got a set of these from Harbor Freight. You can get them anywhere. Of course I got a Harbor Freight store about five miles away so anyway it's a Pittsburgh on there but yeah, I got a set of these three different sizes to end. I got this is the biggest one and it grabs on the, that's for grabbing hoses down in a in an awkward spot, fuel lines, vacuum lines, what have you, and getting them worked loose. I couldn't get it facing this direction, so I turned it around, faced it this direction, and I got a better bite on it. So uh, and it worked it loose. Now let's see if we can uh, get that out of there. I have to put the camera down. Well, I got it out of the hole and it's in the pliers. And I'm going to try to work it up to the top here if I can so I can get it out. I'm going to try to pull it out by the wire and uh, put the new one on, put the wire on the new one and work it back down there. I'm not going to try to put the wire on back there. I'll try to put the wire on out here where I can reach it. Well, I got the new one plugged in and need to inspect this wire since they're not very big wires and you got to right there where the wires go into that fitting that into that plug-in got to make sure they don't look like they've been 
uh, the insulation's been breaking or cracking or any strain that's been on it in that position there. So I think we're okay. This truck is 20, what, five or six years old. So, okay, I'm going to try to work this thing back down there. Sorry, I won't be able to do that on camera. But uh, definitely get the wire plugged into it tight. Get the locking tab on. If your locking tab's broken off or something, put a small um, uh, wire uh, tie on that or something, you know, uh, zip tie. Um, okay, let me go ahead and try to get this on. I'm going to put some oil on that O-ring. I got my light mounted in position. This is my new little work light that I got on Amazon. I don't know if I can probably find a link to put up there what do they call it white light wit w-i-t-l-i-g-h-t and this is uh this plugs into uh any of my 18 volt uh milwaukee batteries and they've got these that plug into other batteries you know like the walt makita or whatever you can get get these lights that plug into a number of those different batteries and I've been using this thing a lot. I really like it. While I was trying to work that thing down in position, I dropped it and it was dangling by the wire, but I couldn't get a hold of the wire. I had to reach around the back here and find the wire and drag it back up here. And when I did, put my hand down in here actually i could probably take this this um oil line that goes to the compressor off and get me a little more room i was able to get my hand down in there oh, some people got bigger hands than me and work that thing look i'm working my hand down in there and, and i got it into the hole where it goes and it's not in there tight but i might be able to I can't do it on camera, but at least I got it started in the hole with my fingers. So the whole trick is to keep from taking that compressor off. Well, I got it in there, but I don't know if the bolt hole is lined up or not. I kind of doubt that it would be, but um, let me show you what I did. I didn't I, I couldn't get anywhere with this pliers took another one like it also from Harbor Freight but with a straight point and I had a hold of it like this and uh, I had a hold of it like that and then pushing with the big screwdriver against the pliers which of course was pushing on this mounting tab and I was pushing it with, against that and prying it against the compressor and uh, and I got it to pop in and so it's popped in the hole but I may have to rotate it a little bit to get the screw hole to line up okay I got the screw hole lined up and and I did it with this with this uh, another Harbor Freight player that came in a set this bent nose and this straight nose came in a, in a set together just like three of these plier uh, I mean uh, hose tip tips came in a set anyway I stuck that down in, in the hole there and and, uh, and moved that and got that hole lined up where I think I can get a screw in there now I'm going to take a paper towel and, uh, and a little shot of brake cleaner and I'm going to clean that bolt off on the outside I don't care about the threads just the head part and uh, this socket I'm going to clean that nice and clean and dry put and put a little electric tape on there to hold that on but that electric tape I'll show you after I get it on it's just barely going to be on the shoulder of that bolt not enough that you can pinch the tape under the shoulder of that bolt we don't want that because then then when you go to pull the 
the socket back off of there the tapes holding it on and you run into problems but I've done this before like on my starter on my truck and it helps me get the bolts back there where I can't get a hand back there where I can because uh, you know you drop the bolt it'll fall someplace where you can't get it uh, and they're special bolts you can't just go buy them at the store this one's not special I can I might even have some of these laying around here somewhere but anyway that's what I'm gonna do to get that on there got it started and it didn't take long I do have a wobble extension uh, which is almost like a swivel but not quite so I'm just back here behind the compressor with my hand and over here in the front as you can see we got it started so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down and uh, finger tight right at the moment I'll put a ratchet down here on this end and crank it down a little bit got it on there got my bolt on there tight and my ratchet and socket came off real easy just a piece of tape on there held that uh, socket on keep me or I'll let bolt on keep from losing that okay now all I gotta do is start it up and make sure it runs Okay, we are done with that. Thanks for watching.